Sometimes you may uh, find yourself dealing with data which are some long text or strings. And the question is, what is the best way you can be able to visualize uh, such data with the dimension adders uh, with long uh, strings? And therefore, in this class, I just want to show you how you can uh, be able to, to, to visualize such. But before I do that, let me explain what I'm talking about using some dummy data uh, on some products. So we have a question, which basically is a question on a product. And there's the rate given to that particular uh, product. And as you can see from these sample Vs, you can see that uh, the headers are quite long. And actually, they are not visible until you hover. So our question is, how can you be able to display these headers in a better way such that you create visas which are uh, legible and interpretable to your users? And there are several ways. First of all, I can uh, wrap these uh, strings. How do I do it? I just come here to question, right click, go to format, and then enter uh, alignment. I'll come to adders because these are the adders, and then I'm going to check on and the wrap. And what it means is if I can be able to expand my view a little bit, uh, the, the strings will be wrapped. And by doing that, you can see that they are visible. However, I think there's a better way we can be able to visualize this data. And to do that, let me just uh, turn it off. And now the other alternative way I think we can present this data, rather we can display these adders, long phrases of adders, uh, I'm just going to place them right above the bar or below the bar. And to do that, I'm going to create uh, a placeholder. And to do that, I'm just going to double click on the column shelf and enter a zero, uh, which uh, is aggregated by sum. Let me change this one to average. So it's the average of zero. Next, I'm going to make this one dual axis. And of course, I'm going to synchronize uh, these axis. Let me change uh, under all, I'm going to make all of them bars. Next, I'm going to drag these measure names to row shelf here. And as you can see now, here we have this uh, measure, an average of zero, which we're going to use it uh, to display our uh, headers. And as you can see, when we're going to place our header here, the header will be slightly above the bar. However, if you want them to be below the bar, you can simply swap these two. You can just drag this one upward. And as you can see, it's now going to be below. However, for this case, let's have it at the top. And now to display it, I'm going to select the second chart, the average. And I'm going to drag these questions, or rather the dimension question, and as you can see, we have replaced it. Next, simply is all about adding all these uh, adders by coming here and uncheck show adder and here show adder. And as you can see now, we've displayed those long strings slightly above the bar. The other thing is all about formatting your view by simply removing all the unnecessary marks. Uh, for example, as you can see, this chart is already labeled, so I can hide all these uh, axes. I can remove all of them and then format my view to make it more uh, clear and legible to your user. And therefore, I think this would be a better alternative that you can use to display those long headers in your data, making them more legible and uh, interpretable, of course, to your users. So that's all. Thanks.